Sounds funny? Not so funny when it happens to you. Hi, I'm Lionel. Hi, I'm Henley. And today we are going to talk about car horns. As you guys saw earlier, having a good loud car horn is necessary. It gives me the confidence knowing I have it. And of course, if you want a more macho masculine sound, you always have the option of upgrading yours. Today we have three products from Bosch. From my left is Evolution, followed by Strider, and then Europa. So these three products come with different price points for different users. The Evolution starts at a competitive price of 60 ringgit. We've taken it out and it's the bright orange one. I'm gonna test it out now. It's gonna be loud. Alright. Yeah. Ready? That was loud, I know. Alright, moving on, we have Strider at around 69 ringgit. It has an IP56 rating for dust and water resistant. It should be also shatterproof. So if you go to wet, dirty, dusty places, you may want to think about getting that one. Honey, I wonder if we can test out its shatterproof claims? No, you can't. And I don't recommend you guys to do it either. But it's a good feature to have it. Anyway, we're going to unplug this one, put that one in and hear how it sounds. Let's try this. Hmm, it comes with really nice grey colour. Really simple contraption we have here to power these horns. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Alright, ready? Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh, it's not it was, that loud. It, yeah, it was actually quite nice. Can we try again? Yeah, it's a little bit deeper, not as loud, I feel. Whoa! <laughs> and finally, at the top of the Bosch car horn leather, we have the Europa. It comes in a pair. Hmm. There are two versions for it, a 12 volt and a 24 volt. The former is priced at 270 ringgit and the latter at 300 ringgit. Mm. It's more robust, so you can mount it externally if you want to. And it is EMC protected. EMC, hmm. E equals to MC square. <laughs> it may sound as explosive, but no, EMC means electromagnetic compatible, mm. which means other electronic devices in the car won't interfere with its operation. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna plug it in, we're gonna hear how it sounds. Let's do it. What a beast. Ooh. This is really heavy Let me try for this me. Out. Okay, come. I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, Ali, are you ready? All right, let's do yeah, it. Let's do this. Ooh. That sounds big. And three, two, one. Let's do that again. Whoa, that was really, really loud. So, now we're going to show you how to install a car horn. Here's how you can install a car horn. You're going to need a set of tools. You need your new set of horns. A spanner and of course, a screwdriver. Next, locate the horn. They are usually behind the front grille and if they are there, you're going to have to remove the front grille. After you do that, remove the cables of the old horn and then use your spanner and remove the horn. Swap in the new horns and tighten the bolt. And finally, connect the cable to it, then reconnect the battery. At this point, you may want to give the horn a test. If everything is functioning well, pull back the grill. That's it. That's all it takes to install a car horn. These videos are loud. Sister, I hear ya. Thankfully, we're done. If you want to know more about Bosch car horns, we have a link for you in the description below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. That's it from us. We're going to check out. Till then. Bye! Bye. <laughs>